What's going on, guys? And welcome to the final episode of Phase 2 of the Spin Wheel Park. We are going to bring in the last 10 dinosaurs in this park before we move on to Phase 3, which will be the final 22 creatures. I was thinking, what we could do for the third phase, to make it a little longer with more parts in it, we'll just make... Instead of making two big videos, we'll probably make four smaller ones. We'll have five creatures in each episode. Just so we can, you know, make it a little bit longer and have more content and whatever. More content means more views, and more views mean more money. I'm just kidding, you know. I mean, I am monetizing this channel, but still, you know. Alright, I'm just getting rid of this extra path, and then, uh, after I get rid of it, then make it look tidy... We can begin the final 10 creatures in this park. So let's get right into that. All right, so here are the final 32 species that we haven't picked yet. So whatever the wheel doesn't land on in this video will be in the next phase. So creature number 41 is... Changesaurus, okay. All right, so for Changesaurus... We'd have to put them in a separate enclosure, I do believe. Where's the hatchery? It says you like everything. For whatever reason. Um, okay. Oh, right! Because of the, uh... Because I turned off territories. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I think we'll squeeze the Changesaurus like in here. We'll keep the fences invisible to keep it consistent with the rest of the park because we're in Biosyn Valley. It only makes sense. All right, and let's uh, complete the connection. We'll throw you, like, over here. That should be good. That should be good. And then we can throw the hatchery in. So we'll go all the way over here, grab the hatchery, and then I'm thinking for our next park build, we're going to do an updated version of the herbivore-only park and an updated version of the carnivore-only park, as well as an updated version of the aquatic-only and pterosaur-only park, because we have more species since the last time we did this. So I'm going to throw that in, and you know I'm just going to add an invisible fence like over here. All right, while we wait for the changesaurs to be done, let's move on to creature number 42. Our 42nd creature of the episode is... Ooh, Indominus Rex. Okay. All right. I mean, we could easily throw them in with the Velociraptors. Wait, was it this one or was it... No. No, it wasn't this one. It was, um... It was the last phase with the Velociraptors. We could have easily thrown them in. Whatever, let's throw the Changesaurs in. Alright, so that's our small Tyrannosaur. Now let's move on to Indominus Rex. Possibly the biggest carnivore we have. And now that we have that in this phase, we can't have it in the next phase. So Indominus Rex, maybe we could throw in the back near the Indoraptor. Yeah, that's what we could do. So we'll have the path going through here. And then the Indominus Rex enclosure, we'll keep that forest there. So we have that. Let's make it round-ish. We'll make a round-ish enclosure. You'll have plenty of forest to be able to gather around and hide in. Camouflage, do whatever you want to do. And then when you want to eat, you can of course have food, as well as a goat feeder or two. And of course you gotta you gotta come out of the forest at some point to have water. Alright, and let's get a viewing log just because it's a larger creature. Alright, so the Changesaurus was the last one to have the hatchery. So let's go all the way over here. Move the building. There we go. Alright, Indominus Rex. Let's go. Now, since we don't have to worry about anything, like, attacking each other, we'll just have the Indominus Rex wander around with, like, good traits and whatever. Alright, Indominus Rex is being created, and this will probably take a while. So now the only hybrids we haven't created yet are Spinoraptor and Scorpius Rex. All right, so what are your traits? Aggressive, tolerant, nocturnal, resilient, long-lived, fit, and quenched. And Amazon Rainforest Paltrana. 
Damn. All right, that's going to take 45 seconds, so let's move on to creature number 43 while we wait. All right, creature number 43, what will it be? Polacanthus, it just landed on that. All right, so we will have to wait for Indominus Rex. That'll only take... Okay, it's ready. Let's release it. Indominus Rex. We'll just add the one. Just the one. I kind of wish they'd do more with the Indominus Rex skins. They kind of feel limited. The Lux one's nice, but they do feel limited, in my opinion. Alright, so that's the Indominus Rex. That'll blend right in with the enclosure. So let's move you over. There we go. And we'll just throw Polacanthus in here, since they're much smaller. Then say Ankylosaurus or Euoplocephalus. All right, we'll just add Polacanthus in here for now. There we go. Now, Polacanthus should be relatively quick. Yeah, three. They have three in there. All right, let's throw them in. That's going to take about ten seconds, so we might as well wait the ten seconds. Look at that. Our small herbivore enclosure. And Segisaurus. Looking cool and whatnot. All right, let's release Polacanthus. Alright, so that's Polacanthus released. Let's move on to creature number 44. Alright, creature number 44 is... Uerosaurus. Okay. Alright, we'll add them in with, like, larger herbivores. So what we might do, move the hatchery away from here. We'll put them in with the... Should we put them in with the Dreadnoughtus? We'll throw them in with the Dreadnoughtus. Why the hell not? I know the paths don't look the best. That's obstructed. There we go. But we'll just throw whatever in. Werosaurus, you're all the way down here. Have we got Euterrenus yet? I believe we have. I think it was in phase one we got Euterrenus. We got all the popular ones, and now we're just left with the obscure ones. There we go. Werosaurus has been added in. We'll release all six of them. Let's go. Those will take relatively quick. And then after that, we can move on to creature number 45. Alright, let's release Wuerosaurus. That's Wuerosaurus released. Let's move on to creature number 45. Creature number 45 is... Parasaurolophus? Okay. Alright. For Parasaurolophus... Should we add them in here? I mean, we've got Oranosaurus in here. What about in the other enclosure? I mean, we've got Carithosaurus in there. You know, we'll put Parasaurolophus in there. We'll put Parasaurolophus in. So... Let's just move the hatchery. I could put it in with the Dreadnoughtus, but you know what? Whatever. Let's put them like... Which one's the... That's the Changesaurus enclosure. Over here. We'll throw the Parasaurolophus in here. That's what we'll get. So Parasaurolophus we'll just throw in here. So let's see. Parasaurolophus. There it is. There we go. Parasaurolophus is being thrown in. Let's go. We've got... Well, we got a Jurassic Park 3 para. Two, three, four. A Lux one, and... Okay, so we got four Jurassic Park 3 paras. And a Lux para. Okay, that's... What were the odds of that? That's what, that was random. What were the odds of that? <laughs> Alright, we'll add them in with the Carithosaurus, the Spinoceratops, the Kentrosaurus. Alright, let's release the paras. There's the Lux. And the one evolution skin. The rest of them are Jurassic Park 3 paras. Alright. 
That's creature number 45 done. Let's move on to creature 46. All right, creature number 46. What will it be? Sinoceratops. Okay. So for Sinoceratops, we'll just throw them in here as well. So, all right, so Sinoceratops. There you are. All right. I thought it was going to land on Scorpius Rex for a minute there. Let's go. Sinoceratops is being thrown in. We've got Spinoceratops in here, so Sinoceratops should have no problem getting along with them. And I have territories turned off as well as combat, so everything here will live in harmony and whatever. So Sinoceratops will take about 15 seconds. Alright, so Sinoceratops will be released now. Let's go. Alright, so that's Sinoceratops released. Let's move on to creature number 46. Creature number 46 is... Gigant Spinosaurus. Alright, you know what? Let's just, uh... Should we throw... You know what? We'll throw them in here as well. Gigant Spinosaurus. So that should be all the way up here. You know, just to save space and time to make enclosures and whatever. If we get another carnivore, I'll make another enclosure, but that's about it. There we go, Gigant Spinosaurus is also being thrown in. Let's go. All right, that'll take another 15 seconds. We'll release them and then move on to creature number 47 afterwards. How big the Spinoceratops is compared to the, the people. That's cool, actually. All right, Gigant Spinosaurus, let's go. Filling up the enclosures as we go along. Alright, so that's creature number 46 done. Let's move on to creature number 47. Alright, creature number 47 is... Crichtonsaurus. Okay. You know what? I, no, I wanted to remove you. Crichtonsaurus. There we go. Alright, so that's 24. Let's go ahead and place the Crichtonsaurus in, like, the smaller herbivore enclosure. I want to put them in the smaller one because, you know, they're a lot smaller. Let's see, obstructed, too close, of course it's too close. Invisible, obstructed, obstructed, oh god, it's all these obstructions. <sighs> you know what, screw it, we'll put it here. We'll put them here. Or we could just release them via airlift. Yeah, we'll do that, release them via airlift. All right, so Crichtonsaurus should be relatively quick. We'll move them over to the smaller enclosure, and then we'll be good to go. All right, we've already got a lot of action going on in the herbivore enclosures now, which is really cool. All right, that should take a little bit. We'll speed this up. All right, that's creature number 47 done. Let's move on to creature number 48. Oh, wait, that was eight creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. Sorry, my bad. Creature number nine. What will creature number nine be? Let's go. Homalocephale. We'll do the same thing we did with the Crichtonsaurs. We'll put them in the smaller enclosure. Or should we just put them in here? We'll just put them in here. You know what? Screw it. Homalocephale, we could just throw in here. They could be the small herbivores that reside in there, as well as the Gallimimus. There we go. Now, Homalocephale should be one of the quicker ones. This will take about, yeah, 10 seconds. I figured. And I bet while they're... I, I don't think we can release them while the homalocephalus... While the Crichtonsaurs are being... Let's find out. Oh, we can release them. All right, cool. That made it easier. All right, and that's our second to last creature in here. Let's move on to the final one. And the final creature of Phase 2 is... Kakaradontosaurus. Okay. Alright, we'll throw that in. Let's get rid of this path real quick. Alright, we should be good to go. The Crichtonsaurs are still being unloaded. 
The homalocephalae have been released, so we don't really have to worry about them. And we'll make a separate enclosure for the Cacarodontosaurus. So for Cacarodontosaurus, we could just throw them in here. Another large carnivore, and we'll put two of them in. They come in pairs, we'll throw a pair in there. We'll also grow a pair. <laughs> uh, I'm funny. I know I'm funny. Alright, uh, let's see, uh, let's put the path, like, over here, maybe? Connect that. Yep, they're done. Alright, let's move this out of here and throw it in the Cacarodontosaurus enclosure so we can prepare for that. Alright, we need to connect the path. This should be big enough for them. Let's have a path going across here. And then Cacarodontosaurus should be in the top here. Yep, it is. Alright, we'll throw them in. Alright. Cacarodontosaurus is being added in. Our final creature of Phase 2. Let's go. Alright. We'll throw those in. That'll take about 35 seconds. So since this is the last creature, we'll speed that up. And then we'll release our final one, Cacarodontosaurus. Wait, a viewing dome. I need a viewing dome. Or a viewing log, even. Let's get one of those, maybe, like, right over here. We'll put this over here. Slow that down. And then we'll release Cacarodontosaurus. Let's go. I may have forgot to randomize the gene, but whatever. Oh, it's color patterns. I think they're both the same color. Let's see, we got... You are... Yukon River Blank Pattern and Yukon River Blank Pattern. Yeah, it's the same. Alright! And that is Phase 2 completed. We got all the different creatures and whatever, and, uh, yeah, looking really cool. We got a lot of the pterosaurs, actually, probably a majority of the pterosaurs, and the majority of the aquatics, I would say. Yeah, so this this one was relatively easy, and a majority of the uh, hybrids as well. So before we conclude the video... All right, so here are our final 22 species. We've got Albertosaurus, Atrociraptor, Barbarodactylus, Brachiosaurus, Camarasaurus, Compsognathus, Cryolophosaurus, Giganotosaurus, Ichthyosaurus, Jehalopterus, Lystrosaurus, Myasaura, Mementisaurus, Allura Titan, Oviraptor, Pteranodon, Pyroraptor, Scorpius Rex, Cynosauropteryx, Spinoraptor, Struthiomimus, and Styxosaurus. So yeah, those are our final 22 species. And they will be in on Phase 3. But until then, that's going to have to wrap it up for Phase 2. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.